Okay, what we have here is the basically the light. That we're gonna bright light up, and it's in a regular lamp holder connected to an antenna, um, which is right there, and then the antenna is connected to a collector which is right there, that's the collector. Let me get a close up of that collector. That collector is essentially, that's the collector, a close up of the collector. We'll back up out of that just a little bit. Once again, that's the receiver. Now, wire going down to the floor is somewhat of an antenna. And it's going down going down to the floor and it could be going to a regular antenna if you will. There's the setup, partial setup. There's the transmitting antenna right there and of course the the transmitting pod and then the oscillator and the power supply. The power supply is a standard 12 volt connected up to the oscillator connected up to a transformer configured in such a way and then of course we have the antenna and that's pretty much the full setup of the unit what I'm going to do is go tweak the power and you'll see me turn up the power <coughs> Turn on the power here, and of course turn on the light here, and you can see the light go on. And that's pretty bright, that's pretty high watt light bulb, so that's on. I'm tweaking the power, as you can see the demo, that's AC power, real AC. So what we have here is a transformer. I'm shining a light on it so you can get a view of a transformer. That's the primary and that's the secondary. And of course that drives the antenna. Here we have the oscillator unit right there. And of course I'm going to take a look at the oscillator right there. And then it drives the antenna. It's connected right at the side of the antenna. That is antenna screen. And of course it drives the other screen driving the other transformer <coughs> driving the lamp. And once more we'll take a picture of the lamp, uh, just the lamp and basically you can see, I'll turn it on And there's the lamp on. Raw AC power. <clears throat> so this is this test setup. And once again, I'll back up a little bit here. Um, the transformer fed by the cord, which is basically just going into the wall. It's 110. And then, of course, it feeds the transformer, feeding the oscillator, feeding the transformer, the antenna, and then, of course, receiving. And that's the unit that does a lot of the high power. We can go longer distance <coughs> with better equipment and better design. Let me back this up a little bit. And that's the whole unit right there and that's the unit as it sits. This is the unit on the table I want to demonstrate. The power supply basically is coming from right there, very small power supply unit, 1.3 amps. It's feeding the oscillator, feeding the pod or the transmitter, feeding a antenna. This antenna could sit vertically, horizontally or straight up. It's right now sitting on a bulb. Uh, fluorescent bulb. 
and then it goes all the way into another antenna right there that I made and this is for the lamp and basically the antenna feeds this receiving collector and that receiving collector is right there standard collector and of course it has a light bulb connected to it that goes up all the way to an antenna and that antenna basically just hangs on the wall um, of course we got the TV over there the monitor now <clears throat> this is another receiver it's got an antenna on it and it basically feeds the uh, another type of transformer a little different type of transformer and configuration of how it's configured um, they're jumpered together the different primaries are jumpered together to give it gain I'll try and go through that very slow and then we have of course we back it up we have the um, like yellow line if you will and it has an antenna and it goes to the transformer and then of course we have the red and green wires that go to this small light bulb 12 volts it gets pretty bright and then of course we have an indicator which is a standard uh, green line indicator indicating power it's very sensitive to to energy voltage detector pretty cool they uh, hum and make noises now <clears throat> we will back this up a little bit and we also have another indicator here of the same type and this indicator will be making a lot of noise as it hums and it's just very close so what I'll do is back this up make sure this whole thing from this angle and I will sit down and I will adjust this and then we get some other angles and then you'll be able to see how it basically works so I will move off to mm -hmm. more of this side adjusting the unit, turning it on and you can see the fluorescent is very low power, hardly any power presently as you can see the fluorescent comes on now I'm going to zoom in on the fluorescent so maybe you can see the particular um, frequency of that fluorescent if you can or not or see it move maybe the camera won't pick it up but it has a vibrating frequency on it kind of hard to see so we'll back up but even it's just this lit uh, with very low power extremely low power <clears throat> so I'll turn it off and on again you might be able to see it I'll also do something in the dark here so I'll turn it on now as the light comes on you can hear the other indicator come on you can see the lamp starting to come on and of course then this indicator will come on here after that one so you can see it's kind of operational in that respect this transmitting power pod with the collector to that collector to the other collector and this is very low power device I'm going to shut it off or turn it, turn it down I'll now turn off the lights or this particular light and this particular light and let's see what happens when we tune it up okay I don't know how this is going to work out but we're going to turn it on see the fluorescent come on the other light you can see the one indicator come on and the lights come on over there That's pretty much the test set up there.
So what we have is some very unique power here. Also, the TV screen is going. It becomes, in a fine tune, it becomes very vertical lines and they run vertical and that means it's pretty much in tune. Uh, this has a lot of other applications and I'm going to shut it down now and take another view. <clears throat> okay, this is a view from the other end. And as you can see me, I'm going to turn the power on. The light comes on. And it comes on brighter and then the one indicator comes on with very little power from that. It's a frequency driven driven device. And then you can see light slide up, I give it a little more power. Now I'll turn it down. And of course this power comes on. I'd like to also demonstrate power, power. Power here in the spectrum here, over here, over here, and power back here, power over here, power indicator cuts on here, this here, this here, so you can see the power come on. Very unique. a lot of power in this area that we're picking up. You can hear that. I will place these back in a different position. And place this one here. Uh, I'm going to turn on the lights so we might have a little more light. And what I'm going to do basically is turn it on and then I'll kind of zoom in on particular things like the light and stuff like that. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to let it run. Okay, so now it's oscillating. It's going. What I'm going to do is zoom in on, on this particular unit right there. That's actually pretty bright. I'll move it away from there. So we can move it here. Maybe get a little better view there. And let me back it up. Of course it's fairly bright and it's driving, of course that's the collector. And that's the unit itself right there. Of course I back it up. As you can see the indicator's on. And they're buzzing. I'll back it up. CV antenna. There's another light that's being lit. And of course it's in this drive from its collector, which is right there, which is connected to an antenna. And then the whole thing is being driven from basically uh, that particular unit, which is behind there, which is right there. That's the collector. So you can see that working. You can also move this around a little bit. You can see the power here. Goes off here. Goes over here. Goes back here. Goes around here. And up there. Also put it here. Of 
put it here. So you can see a lot of the uh, what's going on there. We can see a little better on scoping on that guy. You can see it's light. It's on. Power indicator. Another power indicator. Another lamp. So what I'm going to do is basically uh, tune this up. I'm going to run the power indicator, so I'm going to turn off or most of the uh, lights around here, so you can really get a good idea of what's going on with the energy. And I'll walk past in front of the camera now, so I'm going to tune it up, and I'll tune, I'll turn it on. You can see the lights as they come on. You can also see me holding this. And there's certain areas, of course, that light up that all go all the way back. You can see it has a certain energy pattern all the way around here. And nothing here. Of course, we start getting in the energy domain sort of here. And you can see the energy here. Now I'm going to put position it back there and you can see the lights coming on and I'll try and move this so you can see the light coming on better I'll also take a fluorescent and light this up this also lights up just like the other indicators now it may stop this unit from working, may stop this unit from working because it's drawn the power. But as you can see, we definitely have a certain pattern. It also works underneath the table. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it is underneath the table working uh, very much underneath the table. Let me see if I can make that work so you can see underneath the table there a little bit and I'll actually go under the table and you can see it work here under the table here it's basically getting power from under the table so it's pretty bright right there under the table it actually goes all the way back under that table and all the way around as you can see the power so it, it basically is going right through the wood. Once again, we'll light it up going here, going here, and going there. Um, I can actually do both. With the power. And you can probably hear it. And we'll put one over here. And then we'll just play with it a little bit, turn it up a little bit. What we also want to do is try and scope in a little bit. Uh, as far as the show the, uh, the indicators and then show the screen the TV screen is running vertically and also detects different types of materials and things and of course there's the collector driving the light we'll back it up and there's another light right there and of course another indicator right there and of course the unit is very hard to see because it's back there that's primarily when it's tuned and as you can see the vertical bars on the monitor once again this is transmitting 
power down through the tube, down through the light, all the way from right there, which is about four foot, all the way down that light to uh, that fluorescent light to that incandescent light. So it's actually transmitting energy. I'm picking up the energy in the gas in the tube and basically lighting up a fluorescent, or excuse me, an incandescent bulb, which is real AC power. That's quite unique in itself and has many applications, implications. And I'm going to try and back this up a little bit so you can see the whole thing and see it working. Once again, the indicators, as you see in red, you see the incandescent light, another incandescent, and of course the fluorescent. Hello, my name is William G. Burchard, inventor of the wireless energy, wireless power, and inventor of the blue domain. This is quite a brand new technology that borders on the leading edge of all technologies. I'd like to demonstrate today wireless power using fluorescent lights and incandescent lights and true RMS power. Thank you. Hello, today I'd like to demonstrate the wireless power apparatus and demonstration uh, lab on the table. Let me point out some things. <clears throat> we have a pod, the sender, an antenna. Uh, we have another antenna, a collector. We have another antenna. Over there we have another collector and those little lights are indicator lights. They're basically to just indicate power. They're a um, uh, green uh, lead type light voltage detector. Very sensitive pieces of equipment. And there we have a monitor. Standard monitor, uh, not a TV, just a standard monitor. So what I'm going to do is point this out once again. We have a 1.3 amp power supply, very low voltage, 12 voltage, 12 volts. The oscillator right here, the transformer, and the antenna. That makes up a sending unit. This particular unit is going to send power down the fluorescent, which is quite unique in itself. Actually, it could send power down a 40-foot fluorescent and still get full power. We'll demonstrate it with a 4-foot fluorescent lamp. It's going to send power down to that antenna right here and the collector will pick it up and of course it will light the light. That wire you see going off over here is to the antenna. We could take that off. I can hold it. I can be the antenna. The wire you see hanging down is basically a ground and we'll get that out of the way for right now. So. Essentially, we have wireless energy. Wireless energy can do a number of things. The type of power that we emit basically goes through just about any material or any kind of matter. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is power this up, and then I'll point out the lights, and then I'll do a dark demonstration for you. Realizing that this energy emitted from this basic antenna right here will flow this way down the lamp. It also flows this way. It's drawn by this particular antenna with the collector. Now if we put a substance or some material in between this, it's going to change what it receives. That is reflected or you'll see that on the screen. So the whole concept of wireless power has many applications. So let me turn this on. And as you can see the light coming on. Now you may be able to see the frequency there. That particular frequency is quite interesting uh, because it's coming from the oscillator. Now differential change is what is detected when you detect a different type of material. What you see is a differential in time. dV over dt rate of change is equal to the time, the time to distance. And what you're seeing here is a rate of change. And what we're going to do is change this oscillation 
and of course things will start coming on. The light will get brighter as you see it. Uh, you see that the two lights light up, the indicators, and then you see the other lights coming on. <coughs> this light right here is incandescent. This light is incandescent. These are basically driven by a small battery and they're just indicators. We can take these around, move them around here, and you can see the areas of the radiation. Uh, this also goes underneath the table. We can also put this over here if you want to, and it's going to have a different frequency. So we have the indicators here, indicators over there, the incandescent lamps, and the CRT, or excuse me, the monitor, and uh, receiving antenna. So let me power this up a little bit, just run it up and down a little bit. I don't know if you can see the vertical lines coming on the, the TV. We get a vertical lines. You put something in the middle, it changes the frequency, it changes the monitor. You can see it just briefly when I put my hand even in it. If you put some type of material or something, you'll see a difference in this particular uh, receiver. So that's what we have, and basically, once again, I'm going to do some close-ups on this, and uh, since I'm doing the camera work and the narration, I explain it, I'll go through um, as I do close-ups. So let me get the camera, and I'll leave this running so we can see what's going on. And let me go back here, and we'll get some close-ups here. Uh, this right here is the lamp that's on. <clears throat> it's a collector that sits right there. Small transformer that I have designed. You tune it, and basically, just to show you where the wires go, I'll back up a little bit. Wire goes to an antenna. Wire goes to the monitor. You can see the vertical lines in sync, so to speak. And this is an indicator, and it's kind of humming. And it's powered by its own battery, so it's not getting, it's getting a signal to turn on from the lamp, but it's getting power from its own batteries. We can do the same thing, but we don't have to have batteries. Now, once again, there's a light, incandescent light. Uh, this particular uh, screen is just laying on the table. I have it that way so you can see the rest of it. Uh, this is a collector, if you will. The collector is wired in a certain manner, and of course it drives the... Let me back this up so I can find it. drives the lamp with the red and green wire. The yellow wire is antenna wire, and then the other wire going to a smaller antenna picks up the energy. Now what you have here is the pod. This is the original pod that sends the information to that particular antenna, coming from the oscillator, coming from a very small power supply. Um, and then basically as I pan through this, you'll see the whole setup. And that's primarily uh, what's going on. Um, it's a certain type of energy, certain type of um, signal that we admit. Now, I'm going to turn the camera off and try and get a better view. What I'm going to do is do a dark type demonstration here. And I'll turn off the lights. Um, I have this light on, basically as you can see this one coming on. I will turn that light off over there so we can essentially um, have a little better view. I'm going to try and speak up and if I can, you'll see this particular light come on here and of course it's going to turn this one off because essentially we take kind of taking car. But you can see that we're running power in all different types of directions around here actually has a very defined pattern. And that's what you change. You, you change that pattern. As you change that pattern, you detect different types of materials. If you could see the CRT monitor, you'd see it oscillating and changing. With a high resolution graphics and a, a computer chip, like a microcontroller chip, you could put this in a handheld device and detect different types of materials, uh, etc. Um, explosives, anything you want to, and have a database accordingly. Uh, we have what we call signature recognition codes that we pick up. So right now you're just viewing 
what I'm kind of trying to show you the patterns. Um, if you could see the frequency of the light and the monitor, you would see that things are changing. Whole principle of detection, rate of change on the rise and fall of the leading edge of the signal. Very important concept to grasp. Once again, we have um, the AC. AC. This demonstrates two things. Demonstrates AC power, transmitting wireless, and detection of different types of materials and things. Very important concept. So let me put this down, put this back over here. And basically, I will just tune this up and down so you can see a little bit. I'll shut it off. I'll turn it on. As you can see, low power, hardly any oscillation. But you can still see some oscillation there. It's quite amazing. Few people don't know this, but you can actually pick up a lot of signal and a lot of energy from the, the screen and the CRT. We can do the same thing with our device also. Um, and let me try and scope in on that light there. I don't know if you can see the, the signal or the oscillation. It might be a little hard to see. We'll see if you can see it. Might come out better. I'll try different different angles and different distances. But I will take and go back <clears throat> and basically turn this on. I can see that frequency moving. I don't know if you can, but let me turn this back on here and turn it up. And of course, you see see it coming on. You see the monitor also, and then you hear the thing start to really whistle. Um, you'll get a very defined pattern, not only in the visual range, audio range, but in the electromagnetic range. Now this little guy is not humming right now. We can put him a little closer. I'm sure he will. He's picking up electromagnetic signal. We can also put that signal over here and pick up that signal. So you can get a very good idea of what is going on. And this concludes my demo of wireless power and signature recognition patterns. What I'd like to demonstrate is a smaller unit. This particular unit has a power supply, has an oscillator, has a transformer, has an antenna, receiving antenna, receiving collector, transformer, and a lamp. What you're going to see is basically um, a unit that lights a very high wattage light. I'm going to turn it on. And it has quite a bit of power already to it so you can see it. Although it goes a short distance, it demonstrates AC power lighting up a lamp. It's a matter of frequency and tuning uh, to get this whole unit set. So basically I'll turn it down and as you can see I'll ground the signal out and then I'm going to turn it off. In this demonstration what I'd like for you to see is I want you to notice the frequencies that turn on the different parts of the fluorescence on this particular ball. This uh, has quite a lot of applications as you can see, I'm turning it on. The top one's lit, and lit, the bottom one, and then they all come on. And then I can change how I change the frequency and the power, depending on what light comes on. What determines this? Frequency, uh, the location, and the material in the middle, uh, the plastic. Um, as you can see, the light comes on. It really doesn't stop the energy, so to speak, from the lamp coming on. It may bring it down a little bit, but basically it's the frequency of that lower one coming on, the other one, and the other one coming on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to do a close-up of that lamp so we can get a good visual of it. I'd like to see you, I'd like to see that actually on the camera as we go through it. So we're going to turn it up. We see the 
just a part of the fluorescent coming on here and then you can see it coming on there and so forth and so forth and moving and changing. Uh, it's quite unique in the fact that it can change it and flash that. Of course if we would ground this things will change. You see how that happens there. Now if I put my hand there and put an antenna on it, I'll also get juice quite a bit. But um, basically I can hold it like this and it's quite a bit of power. So that kind of demonstration is uh, very unique to show the power. Chart, and I'm here to talk about POTS, collectors, and wireless energy. Tonight we'd like to talk about the transmission and the receiving of wireless energy. I'd like to go through some of the theory as I go through the demonstration. I'll be moving the camera around. I'm the only one doing this, so uh, bear with me. But I think it's quite an interesting demo. The whole concept is to take energy 110 DC AC transform it into another type of energy, transmit it through the air, recollect it, and then use it as true AC power. This will also power different devices like hair dryers, motors, uh, generally almost anything that's AC or DC. The distance we have is very limited because of our size of our coils. This is FCC compliant and UL compliant. So we have done all of our testing. We have tests verified by independent labs that uh, you can review the data and also check the credentials on the data. So what I'm going to do is I'll stop the tape momentarily and then I'll start to move the tape and narrate it as I uh, move the video camera. Thank you very much. Hello, good evening. My name is Bill Burchard. I'm with Blue Domain Technologies. I'd like to talk about the system of pods and collectors, which is transmitting wireless power through the air using a method of pulse wave. We'd like to talk about the transmission and receiving units. The pod is the transmitter, the collector is the receiver. Tonight I'll show you a demo of wireless power. I'll go through in detail all the different parts uh, that make up the pod and collector. Although right now we go four to five feet, uh, we're looking to go 20 feet and power hair dryers, different types of electrical devices. I want to thank you very much and I will momentarily stop the tape and go through the demo. I also want to make a note that this is FCC compliant, has been tested by an independent laboratory, UL approved, and we have all of our passing credentials, so we are in compliance with all U.S. regulations in the United States. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Hello, my name is William Burchard with Blue Domain Technologies. Tonight I'd also like to talk about the fact of the long range detector. Facts being that we can detect almost any type of matter on the atom or quantum level as far as types of materials and substances. I'd like to discuss the theory of operation. Theory of operation is a nature of electromagnetic. What we do is we send out a certain type of wave uh, signal that is very low frequency, but we vary the frequency of the wave. And the wave will then come in contact with any type of material. And two methods that we have, an active method will actually take and penetrate the material or the matter and get a signal and bounce it back. We will then receive it like a radar signal and then what will happen is we'll take and look at what we call a source recognition code, 
which is kind of like a certain type of pattern that all material has. It's kind of like a DNA code. So what we do is we look at this, run it through what we call a DSP, a digital signal processing unit, and some other electronics, and then of course put on the screen as to the viewer what type of material it is. <clears throat> this will indicate explosives or any other type of compound. The passive device will actually be where we just receive, we pick up this signal that is emitted from any material and we pick it up electromagnetically and we almost do the same thing where we look at it with some digital signal processing, run it through the computer and determine what its composition is. I will try and demonstrate that today. We also have done some testing with an independent lab that shows a variation of signals. What we have done is we take a transmitter and a receiver and we put different types of materials like wood, metal, even humans, whatever in between the two units, transmitter and receiver, and then we'll look at that signal with a spectrum analyzer and through that data we can determine what type of materials or composition it is. We have various methods of determining this on the receiving end. We don't have to have a spectrum analyzer. We have different types of devices that actually detect and discern this type of code. The signature recognition code will have a very large database that will be able to uh, be stored in uh, Oracle, DB2, different types of databases that we may use or we may generate our own rational or relational database. I want to thank you very much. That kind of sums up the theory. I'll go through this in detail later. I want to thank you very much. Once again, this is William Burchard with Blue Domain Technologies. And this would be October 26, 2006. Thank you very much. Hello, my name. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Bill Burchard. I'm from the United States of America. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm a U.S. citizen, very good health, 47 years of age. I do very well. I'm an engineer, an architect. I teach English. I teach mathematics. I have several degrees which I can provide on request. I like to teach. I enjoy teaching kids. I enjoy giving knowledge and watching people learn. I'm very good at what I do. I'm very relaxed. I enjoy it. I like to just let you see me, what I look like. I'm in very good shape. I like to do a lot of physical things. I do physical things with kids like soccer, karate, different types of sports. I'm also very good at teaching English and teaching just different subjects. I want to thank you very much and have a great day. Good evening. This is Bill Burchard with Blue Domain Technologies. I went over the theory briefly about the pod and collector system. I'd like to do that again a little bit, but I'd like to show you a demo. Since I'm operating the camera, being the cameraman and the narrator, and of course the scientist and inventor, it's going to be a little choppy. Uh, pardon that, but I think we'll we'll get through it. What I like to do is uh, I will move the camera around and I'll show you the the transmitter unit and the receive unit, and then I'll actually show you a demonstration. So uh, the tape may break up a little bit, but I'll try and make it a uh, good transition if, if possible. Once again, we're transmitting wireless energy. We're not generating new energy or power. We're just changing the form of the energy in somewhat of electromagnetic, electromagnetic type energy and transmitting. So what I'll do is I'll start the particular type of test and the demonstration. Thank you very much. And this is the month of October 26, 2006. Blue Domain Technologies.
what I'm basically sh going to show you tonight will be the small power supply. This converts the AC into a 12 volt DC. This can be any other type of unit. It can be very small. It's called a brick. Uh, it's very low power, maybe one amp. This is a ground wire. I just have it sticking here. It feeds the oscillator, which is fused, which has an off and on switch right here, which basically has an adjuster for the frequency. This unit is an oscillator. It feeds a coil here, which feeds another coil, which feeds an antenna. This is an antenna system. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to try and tune this up. I'll turn it on here, and I'll tune it here, and you'll notice that there will be a point in time when this lamp will come on. Now, once again, this is FCC approved, and and basically compliant with all the regulations, with it, which is the Reg 8. You notice that this particular energy lights up the fluorescent. Once again, the power supply, oscillator, transmitter, special transmitter. Uh, I can take this unit around here, over here. Uh, this particular unit is very inexpensive, very lightweight, and it is changing the form of energy from AC into an electromagnetic power. I'm going to shut this down. What I will do now is have the demonstration of not just the fluorescent, but I will take and show the demonstration of an antenna with the collector. And essentially what I'm doing it's going to have a very small light that will light up. It's fairly close now, but we can show distance at a different time. So what I'm going to do is turn this on, and essentially I will tune it with a fluorescent, like this. And you'll notice, although the lamp is fairly small, it's fairly, it's fairly small as far as wattage, but it does light now, right now I'm just using this as an, an antenna, if you will, and you can see the lamp burning. Wireless energy, it's not going very far, but we uh, normally demonstrate a six foot demonstration because of the camera, I can only go so far. Uh, very low power once again, once again, I can turn off the power. This is a very nice unit, has many applications in the lighting industry. Once again, the collector, the receiver, small lamp, and that's it, and that's what you're seeing. That's wireless energy. What I'd like to show tonight is essentially a power supply, an oscillator, a transformer, can turn that around a little bit, an antenna, a receiving antenna, a collector, and a 15 watt light bulb and a lamp. But you notice that we also have a lamp here and we have an antenna and of course a fluorescent tube. So what I will do is I will turn this on and I'll turn this on very low you notice that the lamp comes on and the light is very bright. We're getting a little arcing and that's because of my configuration. But essentially, um, of course, I can get energy from this too. Now, what we have here once again is we're lighting a lamp, fairly bright, and we have an antenna, the oscillator, or excuse me, the oscillator, the transformer, and the power supply. If we put a certain type of material in between the transmitter and the receiver, we will notice a change uh, in the receiving collector. This is normally fed to a computer. We go through what we call a digital processing unit. 
some software and we determine what the composition is. This is the principle of an active system. We also have it set up where this particular system here can receive just that signal from a composition or matter and also determine the signature recognition codes. Well, once again, this is kind of the basic principle. Um, I'm going to turn off some lights so we get a little better um, feel for what's going on. So once again, the same setup, the kind of same setup. The lamp is right here. I'll move it over just a little bit. I'm going to tune this up a little bit. And you can see it come on. And, and that's the particular lamp. Now, once again, we have a lamp lit over here. We have this. This also, we're getting power. Um, this is wireless energy, wireless power, and also detecting different types of materials that would be put in the path of electromagnetic, which is omnidirectional path. Unis has, this unit has been tested and complied with all FCC regulations. Thank you very much. This is going to be sort of a demonstration in a semi-dark area. Uh, right now, I'm just basically holding this particular unit in my hand, as you can see, and it is just held in my hand, and it's lighting up. Now, if you notice, it lights up throughout this whole area here, and essentially we have a transmitter here, transmitter here, and of course you can see the, the power and tuning up. I can also hold this and tune up these. Uh, this right here has some very unique effects. Please note that we're also lighting up an AC bulb here and another smaller bulb right here. I bring this back into line and I get this, both of them lit up. This is quite interesting. I try and make this so you can see it. Uh, Stutching no wires I have in my hand, and these are the two units. I'll bring also bring over here, and they're still lit up, and bring them over here like this so you can hopefully see that I'm just holding them. Once again, this is lighting up the bulb and the small bulb there. Uh, quite unique power. I can run this all the way over to here, all the way there, and as you can see, I'm holding it with quite a bit of energy. These are neons, uh, they're quite nice for a good demo. Um, we can light this up. This is wireless energy, very low power wireless energy. So I'd like to show that demo as you can see things lit up. The lamp, the transmitter, uh, this is a certain type of energy. Uh, this is, gets into the realm of blue domain technology. I want to thank you very much um, for the time and it's quite interesting. We can also do fluorescent tubes. I can set this down. Of course, uh, we're acting as an antenna, so I let them go a little bit, but I'll move them back. Um, we can also show a very long tube here, lit up. This particular tube is extremely long. I don't know if I can hold it, but now if you can see it. It's a very long tube, a lot of energy. Um, very unique characteristics and capabilities. Once again, this is about a six foot long tube and it's lighting up pretty bright. Also, I'll light up a uh, fluorescent tube, which is also wireless. Once again, you can see it. Uh, notice if you can see the lines through the tubes. These are the lines that we look at with signature recognition code. Um, and you can see them move. I can vary the frequency also of that. Uh, I can also do this. Shut this down a little bit. And of course, get a little brighter. And you notice that just a little brighter there. A little brighter here in front of the antenna. But this is wireless energy. 
if you will. Nothing touching it. Uh, gets also very bright here. And once again, we have receiving, receiving units in the center. So I'll turn this up just a little bit. And you can see this is a standard four foot fluorescent. Thank you very much. This is just activating with the smaller unit. I shut the bigger unit down. So we're talking about <laughs> pretty interesting things. Uh, also, as you can see, this light here um, is all the way to the, of course, end here. And let's see if we can do this. Um, very interesting to see it light up like this and all the way down here like this. So we can hold this here, hold this here, here, and here, and determine the different frequencies built on signature recognition code as you see the lines here. This is part of the technology. Once again, this is Blue Domain technology. And look at this, pretty bright, even for a very, very small transmitter. And it actually lights under the table. Once again, FCC compliant. Thank you very much.